2015 is over. <laughs> yeah, I know. So every year I write down a list of goals that I hope to achieve. Let's see how I did this year. First, get feature film off the ground. I have been trying to do this for many years. This is the next, but uh, hopefully next year, I'll keep putting it down and sometime soon it'll happen. Second, make a narrative project. Short, festival, etc. Well, that's like a broad, that's a broad thing. I, d I definitely did a narrative project. Check, you'll see in my big review of videos that I've done. I need to be more specific though. Third, write one or two more feature films. Personally, I haven't done it, but with my writing team, we've actually gone through a bunch of different ideas and I think we've done much more than just one feature. So I'm gonna give this a pass. I don't know what that sound came from, but hey. Fifth, representation, agent slash manager. Unofficially, I've actually been listed on the director's roster for this cool site called Off Abbott. We'll give this an X because uh, I haven't signed any official papers. So it's just, it's not. Fifth, make greater than 50% of my income from directing. Now, I was really close this year. I think I made around 40%, but the big surprise is actually how much of my income I made from writing with my writing team, which is Jesse Pepe and Travis Brown. I'm gonna say this one's a check. Just because I knew when I wrote that, I just meant don't make as much money editing. Hopefully you agree with me. If you don't, I'm giving a check anyway, because it's, it's my rules. You're not, you don't have any say in this. Sixth, become competent communicator Toastmasters. Now, around the January, February, I joined Toastmasters as a speech class, which led up to my brother's wedding, which I gave a speech in. I didn't end up finishing the speeches, so this is a big X. I have a long way to go to be competent communicator. I'm incompetent right now. Seventh, direct a celebrity. This is a big check, and actually you'll hear about it when I go through my whole review, but I got to direct Sir Richard Branson for Virgin America. Eighth, another viral video. No, X, that didn't happen. You always hope a video goes viral, but you have no control over that. Ninth, travel to a new country. Uh, that's a check, please. This is a cheating one. I, I already was in a new country at the beginning of this. I spent my New Year's in Brazil. And 10th, master a new piano song. So I'd previously the year before done Claire de Lune. But no, I've not mastered another piece. X. And the final one's a bonus. Last year I got my bonus. We'll see how I did this year. Win an award contest. I was close. I was this close. I don't know how close it was. They don't release the results. That's a no. All right, so how did I do? You know what? It's better than last year. But the interesting thing is, this was an incredibly successful year for me, regardless of what my list says. We'll just uh, put that away. So it's time to look back on the year that was 2015. Oots, 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 oots. My year started with one of the most incredible New Year's I could imagine. I was down in Brazil. Words can't even describe it. If you pictured the perfect trip, this was it. I made the video log, it's called Gringos in Rio. Seriously, one of the trips of a lifetime. It, it was just such an incredible way to start off the year. So then I got back and I was immediately in the midst of the Super Bowl. So for those that don't know, the commercial that I directed, Baby's First Word, was in the finals of the Doritos Crash the Super Bowl competition. Uh, we spent all the rest of the time when I got back getting people to vote. There's actually a video log I have about the whole experience and uh, we didn't win, but it was such great exposure and it actually led to the next project, a commercial for Virgin America. So the day before the Super Bowl, I got a call from Virgin Produced. They had seen my commercial and they asked me if I'd be interested in directing a commercial for them the following week, starring Sir Richard Branson. So as soon as the Super Bowl ended, Travis, who wrote and produced Baby's First Word, me and him brainstormed some ideas, pitched them, and then a couple days later, we were flying out to Vegas to shoot this commercial. We only had Richard Branson for about an hour, so it was really intense to get it all done, but uh, I'm quite proud of how it turned out. So next up is Doggy Style. Now this is a comedy sketch I did for my friend Greg Ash and his YouTube channel, We Like Laughter. We had shot it actually in 2014. It's based on a true story that one of Greg's friends told him. It was a lot of fun to make. and It's a really funny story. Next up, I was hired once again for a Warp Zone project. Now, the Warp Zone is a really successful YouTube channel that I've worked with in the past. This one was for Hot Pockets. It involves Meat Oaf, which is a parody of Meatloaf, interrupting a guy's snack break to tell him what he should really be eating, the new Hot Pockets minis. But he has a little help from his mini friend, Mixmaster Meat, MMM. Get it? Following that, I had another Warp Zone project, Clash of Kings, sponsored by, you guessed it, Clash of Kings. And this was the biggest scope project we've had yet. We had a bunch of locations, we had a castle set, we had a cool equipment, and the song was in the style of a Lonely Island kind of video, so we kind of emulated that. And then, I got hired to do my second Virgin America commercial. This time I only directed the LA segments of the commercial, involving my friend Andrew Pifko. He's a very, very funny guy, and it was really fun having him play off of what Richard Branson was doing back on his island. 
After that was the only one. Janelle Garcia, who was actually on the X Factor video, you watched that. She had a really cool concept about this white space on a white site. So I worked with her to further develop that. Yeah, it was especially fun to build up to the big breakup moment. It's one of my favorite moments I've captured. So cathartic to see her throw the water in her boyfriend's face. Uh, yeah, you can watch that here. And then there was a Marriott project. So one of the big clients we've been working for has been the Marriott Hotels. Now, David Beebe, who I'd made the Nikolai show for, decided to hire me and my team to come up with some funny comedy episodes that showcase the Marriott's core values. We wrote those back in November of 2014, but it took a while for them to animate. It is the first time I've ever written anything that somebody else has done, but it was really interesting noticing what details and what creative inputs other people had on this original idea. Then I was back to the warp zone for another project. Now this is a hilarious idea. The concept is it's two reality shows going simultaneously. One is for humans and the other one is for ghosts. We got to use a really cool space on the YouTube space, the first time I ever shot something there, but it was really fun to work on a built studio set in a really controlled environment, especially when the lights are pre-lit and it makes you can just press different buttons on the grid. Our gaffer for sure loved that. Now a little bit before that, Doritos announced that they would be doing their final Doritos Crash the Super Bowl competition. So Travis, Jesse, and I sat down, put our heads together, and came up with the concept of Queen of the Court. We really tried to up our game this year. We pulled a lot of favors with crew. We had a huge crane that was pulling off the stunt. There was some crazy wire removal stuff we had to do. Now this commercial was listed recently as the semi-finalist for the Doritos competition. We'll see if it makes the finals. There's only top three this year. But uh, regardless, I'm really proud of how it turned out. And then a random project came about thanks to an editor I knew, Ellen Bittner, and 705 Hollywood. This was a Star Wars parody called If Star Wars Characters Lived Amongst Us. And the first person that came to mind was my friend Josh Thomas, who owns his own sketch show. I thought he'd be a perfect match and a perfect chance for us to work together. And both of us put our minds together and came up with ideas for what Star Wars characters would be doing. The challenge was, it wasn't the largest budget. So we had to reach out, we had to find cosplayers, people that had the costumes, and we had to find a location that could do all these different scenes in one. It was another one of those kind of everyone, all hands on deck projects, and um, so far it's gotten a great reception. Then, and this just seems to be the trend at the end of the year, Jesse came to Travis and I and he was like, we have to do this concept for a JP music video called Santa Claus is Coming with Guns. And it was a comment on America's obsession with guns. I thought it was a really funny song and Jesse wanted to make it. So that put an immediate deadline. We had to have it done before Christmas. Jesse put a bunch of the load on his back. That sounds. And we made it happen. I'd actually gone to Brazil again and I was just coming back and that night we had test shot it and two days later we we're filming it and then we had to have it done by the next Monday. I was really stoked about what we were able to pull off on such a short time including our cast, the props, the locations, all those things and that's now out on JP's channel. So yeah, it's been crazy as you can see. I, I just rail off projects for you and there's a really exciting project that we also shot around that same time called Aquaphobia. That was my first project with Aaron Hahn who uh, directed Circle on Netflix now and the web series The Vault. This one's kind of a, a really cool interactive video concept. So I'm really excited to finish that off and show it to you guys. Thank you so much for everyone that's made my year great. I'm really excited for the future and uh, happy 2016. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like my page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. You can go to my website. There is really no limit on how much you can stock me. Trust me.